guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria. I am the owner of Buffling Beats AT, a shop for handmade beaded jewelry over on Etsy, and also a second shop where I sell Czech glass beads. You can find the links down below in my description box if you're interested in either handmade jewelry or my beading supplies that I sell. So I'm finally back and I can't wait. So I really enjoyed my vacation. Um, I enjoyed both the workshop, so my business trip, which I went on before, and then also my vacation. But being away for three weeks is such a long time. And I really missed being here in my space. And yeah, having this quiet and peace for myself, you know. I got back yesterday at midnight. I got up today at seven. So of course I'm currently still doing the unpacking of my suitcase and my bags and doing laundry and all that stuff. But I had so much time to think about the things I still want to do this year, you know, for my business, um, that I really can't wait to start working and I've been working now for two and a half hours now already because I decided to organize a Black Friday sale. It's going to be two days so it will be active on the 24th and 25th of November. You will get discounts in both my shops so it's going to be 30% I think I've never had 30% of my products in any of my stores. So I really hope that you will enjoy the sale. But there will be a minimum order just so that I can be sure that at least, you know, I get some money and also that I'm sure that the shipping will be paid for. Um, you know, especially in my jewelry shop where shipping is included in my prices. I do have some more inexpensive items in my jewelry shop and if I give 30% without a minimum order it definitely won't cover the shipping. So I have to make sure that the prices are right. For my jewelry shop you will get 30% off everything, also, also downloads for a minimum order of 50 euro and in my bead shop you will get 30% off if you buy a minimum amount or value of 20 euro because you know it just takes time to pick an order. Those are going to be the minimum amounts so today is the 5th of November that means that I have 18 or 19 days to set my shop up for the sale and I don't have to do anything for my jewelry shop uh, maybe add more items again and restock earrings because some of them are sold out so thank you for your orders as always but for my bead shop I need to make sure that all the prices are right and for this I decided to completely check all my beads that I currently have in my shop. I currently have about 300 items in my bead shop so I need to check all of those. And it's also not only checking, it's also configuring a new price. And that doesn't mean that it gets more expensive. So I will completely standardize my whole pricing system for all the brands that I'm buying beads from and that I'm selling. So don't you worry, okay, there's just going to be minor adjustments that I need to make so that I know that all my prices are standardized and also that I have a system going that will make it easier for me to add more products to my bead shop. Because as you can imagine, having a shop with a few hundred listings and adding onto it every few weeks, it gets a lot and you need to have a system that works 
so that you minimize your workload. I need to get this done before I organize that Black Friday sale. So my goal is to adjust all the prices until next weekend. So when you're watching this, it has already happened. So that's the first thing that I'm currently working on. And then I ordered new beads. <laughs> that was the second trigger because, yeah, as I said, I need a system. So my goal is to add about a hundred new beads to my bead shop until that Black Friday sale gets live. So that's three weeks, a little less than three weeks. And that of course means that I need to take all the product photos. So some of the orders haven't arrived yet when they're here, which should be by the end of next week. So in about five days, then I will need to take all the pictures, of course, do all the product descriptions. There will be new bead types. I will start selling machine cut bicone beads. And is there anything else? Let me check. I will restock some of the beads. So you love those four millimeter round beads, which are opaque white with golden spots. You love those. Um, they are almost sold out. So I bought more of these. So there will be new ones at latest when it's time for the Black Friday sale. Um, so let me check what else I got. I will start selling my very first bead mix. And I'm super excited for it because I myself want to use it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's going to be a bead mix. So it's my very first one. I will see how it will work out. So it's going to be a mix of bellflowers and pressed leaves. And I think that's quite fun. I mean, it's the wrong season, but who cares? I want to have it in my shop, so I'm going to add it in my shop right in the middle of winter. Okay, and then I will also add some more ornamental beads. But yeah, I really hope that you will like the machine cut bicone beads and that bead mix because I am super excited for those and I can't wait. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. So that's all admin stuff and I'm pretty much only calculating numbers in my Excel sheet. I don't need to show you anything of this because no one wants to see this. I need to pack quite some orders today uh, because yeah, you were so kind and made use of my vacation sale. So the 10% off in both my shops. I got quite some orders that I need to pack today and everything that's going to stay within the European Union, I will need to send those out today and everything that's going out to the US and anywhere else I will ship those tomorrow because the post office needs to be open for those. And also all the three winners of the giveaway have received the package now. One went to the US, one to Canada I think and one to the UK. And yeah, so Willow wrote to me, <laughs> you know, the one that I um, waited for for quite some days to get an answer from and then I needed to draw another name so that I could send out the price before I wanted to leave for my vacation. So yeah, as it is, um, people are busy all the time, I get it. I'm always busy. So I decided to send her a package anyway. It won't be as big as the prices of the other three winners, but I don't want to punish anyone for having a busy life. So I will also need to package her price. So I will keep on working for another hour or two. Then I will have my lunch and I will see you in the next clip when I start packing orders. Then with my lunch, and also I checked the prices again. My 4mm round beads are the cheapest beads that, I, that you can currently get in my shop. So a few per percentages more on top 
I don't see the problem with this, while everything else will get cheaper. I guess that's good news. And you will also get the Black Friday sale, so there's nothing to lose, really. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to mention is that if you order stuff that you want to give away for Christmas, if you're not in the European Union, I cannot guarantee you that you will receive your order on time. So usually the orders to the US and to Asia, uh, they take about three weeks, sometimes three and a half, but I had orders that took like five weeks and it's crazy. I don't know what happened there, but there's no guarantee that you will get that stuff for Christmas. It's pretty sure if you're in the EU, or maybe some closer Arabic or African countries, then you will probably get your order on time because it takes one to two weeks. But US, Canada, Asia, please be aware that yes, usually it takes three weeks, but it may take longer, especially when everyone's shipping stuff all over the globe for Christmas, okay? I will drink my tea and then we will start with the packing.
So I'm almost done with all the bead orders. This is the largest one I got over those last three weeks. Uh, so thank you so much, Rosemary, for ordering these beads. And since you ordered these via two different orders, I will need to refund your shipping costs, which of course I will do. Because if you manage to get over 80 euro for a bead order that is international, I will pay the shipping for you. Thank you so much for shopping with me, making this huge order. After I'm done with all the bead orders, I will have a break, have some coffee, and then I will continue with jewelry orders. So these are the bead orders. I will pack them now. I promised one customer that I would send out their package on the 5th of November. It doesn't really make a difference whether I send it this evening or tomorrow morning on a Monday. But because I wrote to her that it would be the 5th, I don't want to go back on that statement. So. I'm going to make a trip to the post office and send it today. For all the jewelry orders I have a few days more time, but because people have been waiting already for some weeks, um, I will try to get those done a little bit later in the evening. Bead orders are pretty much done. so. I will still need to put the addresses on here and print the custom forms for those that are going to the US. All of these packages with the paper tape, those are staying within the EU. I think the next thing I'm going to do is getting all those earrings ready. I think it's only earrings. So these are all the earrings. Faunus, Luano, Bija, Carafu, Odoti, Simon, Amaya, Mandala and Sheer Hoops. I'm so happy that these have finally sold. I have no clue why nobody wants my Bija earrings because I think they are so pretty. But no one buys them. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's kind of sad. I mean, they're not even the most expensive ones in my shop. Others have sold, uh, which are more expensive than these. So I don't know what's wrong with them. I really like them, especially especially the the color gradient because it's so complex. There's not really a pattern in there. It's quite irregular and they have been so much work. So yeah, I am so happy that one pair of these has finally sold. I love them and I hope that the customer will love them too. Quite happy with all the earrings that are going to be sent out today and tomorrow. So thank you. 
Also, thank you for all your purchases of my digital downloads. So I had some of those too. I still need to write thank you messages, finish the boxes, put addresses on, print the custom forms. So this will take me, I don't know, maybe another one and a half hours. And yeah, it's it's getting late. So I am done with packing them all. So these are the bead orders and those are the jewelry orders. Whoopsie. Uh, it's almost dinner time and I'm lucky and my boyfriend will cook today. So when we had our dinner, I will ship out all the EU orders and I will finish all the US ones. It's taking me a long time. <laughs> But thank you so much. Um, in the meantime, until I leave for the post office, I will continue recalculating all those prices. I am done with all the categories. So there will be five categories from minimum price to maximum price because you always have a range um, for every bead you buy. So some you know, the opaque ones or the unicolor beads, they are usually the most inexpensive ones. And the more coatings and finishes you have on there, the more expensive they will get. So there will be five categories. Um, I will then group all the items and depending on the category, they will receive their new pricing. I think that should work fine. It's now half past five, so maybe later in the evening I will be able to adjust the first few products. I also need to prepare for tomorrow because I will, retur I will return to the office tomorrow. So I've got my first work day after my vacation, right tomorrow on Monday. As you can see, right off the bat, I'm busy again. I feel good. I did quite a lot of thinking while I was on vacation. My main problem right now with the business is, you know, being scared of trying new things. If you are creative yourself and you craft a lot, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, especially if you want to create things that you want to sell. You know, you're always scared of wasting your time and not being good enough. Uh, but I really have to get over that and just do things and try things and not worry so much. That's the main problem right now that I'm facing. You know, you just need to practice and I guess it will get better over time, hopefully. I really don't know how I can fit trying out new ideas and designs in my next few weeks if I really want to add all those new beads to my shop. But I guess I will figure it out along the way. So see you tomorrow. Bye. It is the next day. So it's Monday today. I just came home from work and I managed to send out all the European orders yesterday so I still so I still have these to ship. Uh, that's all the US and New Zealand so I packed Willow's gift yesterday so that one's going to New Zealand. First before I do anything else I need to fill out all the customs forms so that I can send out all of these packages tomorrow. And then I'm done with all the orders that came in while I was on vacation. And afterwards I will continue with my price calculations. Next I want to do all these calculations for stars, drops and daggers. And then next would be flowers and leaves and everything else is not 
that important because then only a few beads are left. It's coming along quite nicely. But first let me print all those forms so that these can go out tomorrow. Then now I need to sign them and then those packages are all ready to be shipped. Uh, yeah, so filling out customs forms is pretty annoying. I mean, it is super easy. It's really not, not a hard task to do, but it's annoying and it's all time that I could use somewhere else. But yeah, I have no clue how I should handle this what options I have for shipping because currently I send out everything via the Austrian post service but I think there are better options uh, it may be that the other options are more expensive but I would love to know what options I have so I guess one of my goal for next year will be to figure out all the options that I have, especially concerning customs forms. I want to have a post service or shipping service where I don't have to fill out these forms. I don't know how other people do it who are located in Austria and who sell, who sell their products worldwide. I would love to know and I really want a label printer because I slowly get to the point where I have quite some orders. I would love to get a label printer and I would love to somehow automate all of my international shipments. That would be awesome if I can figure something out. Uh, for now. I'm still operating this way. <laughs> if you have any tips, I would love to know if you want to share. So something else that I thought about today was uh, the topic I had mentioned yesterday. The fear of trying new things. May it be because you don't know whether it's a good idea or maybe you think that you don't have the skill set yet. Um, you know, it's usually a combination of these two things that stops me from trying new things. And I really want to make a, make a habit out of trying something new. Maybe it's a new design idea, maybe it's a new technique, maybe it's a new pattern, you know, maybe it's a new color combination, but I want, I really want to get into the habit of trying new things. Also when I have the feeling that I don't have the time. I'm doing all of these recalculations of the prices, I want to get new products into my bead shop and this makes me feel productive, but it doesn't help with my mindset. Of trying new things so at some point this week I want to try something new and it's going to be an idea that I have had in mind for quite some time now it's a new bead embroidery idea for an earring design I have no no clue how it will turn out but that design idea was actually the reason why I made that new huge bead order. So I got one before I even left for my vacation and there are two more coming <laughs> because oh my god I just can't stop myself from ordering new beads. But anyway, so I made that very first bead order because I had something very specific in mind and for this idea uh, I needed a new type of bead which I didn't have yet so 
those are up there in the shelf. I will show you at some point this week, um, probably right before I want to try that new design. And I really, really hope that this new idea will turn out okay. Or, I mean, even if I don't like the first try that I get some new ideas how to fix things or how to improve. For now, or for the next few weeks, I really want to try to get better at trying out new things or creating more stuff. I really don't want this fear to stop me, you know. So before we open this package, uh, I want to get out all the tracking numbers to my customers. I just got home. It's raining outside, so excuse the wet look. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get these out to everyone. Those were all the orders I got. Then I'm all done. And yeah, then we will check what's in here. I had planned to beat a little bit and try a new idea that I have. 10 kilos of beads. <laughs> so these beads will become available for the Black Friday sale. That's the earliest you will be able to buy these. So on, on the 24th of November. Uh, because I don't plan to make those listings public before but you can have a little sneak peek what I will add to my store I got many different ones of these small heart-shaped leaf beads. So these are new colors. I don't have them yet in my shop. Uh, I do have these, I think, but they are almost sold out. So I got some more of these. Mm. I think I have the bronze and the light green ones already and those are new, the dark ones and the light ones so the super light ones and more leaves so then I got some new four millimeter pressed round beads this is a restock because they are also almost sold out they are super cute they are opaque white with golden spots and then I got so many new Three millimeter fire polish beads. Uh, quite a few, as you can see. Another restock. I love these. And another one. So 
So yeah, there are going to be so many more fire polish beads. They are all three millimeter. I do plan on adding four millimeter, but I will do that next year, not this one, because uh, yeah, buying beads is uh, quite expensive in this amount. And then I got some new table cut star beads. 8 millimeter. So these are all the beads. So some of these leaf beads I have bought some more of some other beads because I want to use these for that flower and leaf bead mix. I talked about uh, I think on Sunday so these are the leaves that I'm going to use uh, I will put those heart shaped ones in there but also some slimmer ones like these they are super light green so that you will have a bunch of different shaped leaves and different colors and also the flower beads they will all be bell flowers in the same size but they will come in all kinds of colors so it's going to be a super bright and colorful bead mix and I hope that you will love it yeah so I'm excited for the bead order that I still need to get it should arrive sometime this week but because I have so much footage for this vlog I will probably show the other one in the next vlog so stay tuned for that and for now I'm going to organize these beads a little bit and then I will bead for a little while as you can see, I have already picked out some beads that I want to use for the next earrings that I want to try out. So I've already glued these little skull beads on here. I have no idea how this will turn out, but I love these skull beads. I think they are so fun and so cute and I want to use them. For now, I will try and make earrings but I think that they would would be super fun as pins let me know what you think but I don't have anything I don't know pin needles I don't know how you call them but I would need to get some supplies to make pins and by the way because I had mentioned this on Sunday I wanted to order some special beads that I didn't have yet in my stash so I meant these these are tiny little forget-me-not beads and I love these especially these look at them because they have exactly the right color for forget-me-nots and yeah I will add those too on that Black Friday so, but for now, I'm going to use these and I love these. I will have them in five, five different colors. Uh, I will probably add more of these when there are some colors that I like. Uh, yeah, but let me know what you think of these. These are opaque white and a little shiny. And yeah, these are light blue and gold. So cute. And those are the skull beads. Uh, these are, are already in my shop. And I have decided that I want to use them myself.
So I'm done embroidering three rows of 15 O beads. And what I want to accomplish is that I want this skull to have a crown of flowers. And for this I want to place those forget-me-not beads on there. Probably five, because I think five is a good, a good number for flowers. Uh, and I have no clue how it will look. But you know, without trying I won't ever know how it will look in the end. I am still skeptical. I mean, I like the idea. But yeah, let's see how it will turn out. I'm not sure whether six flower beads would be better, but I still want to see the green. Uh, maybe I could add some more green beads, you know, so, so that I have something in there that looks like small leaves. I'm not sure. Okay, so I am... Um, I still don't know. I think it's cute. I think... I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean it definitely looks better than before. So you can see I, let it, I added those tiny little green beads, you know, to make it a little more 3D. I, I think it's fun. Is it? <laughs> I would leave it at that for now. I will cut this and glue it to a piece of faux leather so that I can continue tomorrow when the glue is dry. Uh, and then I want to add an edge with these Czech fire polish beads. But it's definitely not a fail. I like this. I may need to adjust and do things a little differently, but I, th I really think it's cute and I like the look. It's pretty late already, so the only thing that I want to get done today is this earring. So yeah, and then I will call it a day because I am exhausted today. So we're going to finish this little guy. Yeah, because I don't have any needles, you know, for those pins, I will make earrings instead with sterling silver wire guards and earring hooks. I'm quite happy with how these look. I wasn't quite sure yesterday what I think about these, but I think they're cute. So I'm pleasantly surprised. So let's finish this one and yeah, and when I'm all done, you can let me know what you think. And I have these two left, which I had prepared before. I will at least make a second one. Uh, so that I have a finished pair of earrings. So each variation of these skull earrings won't be unique but limited instead. So maybe two or three pairs. I won't make more of one color variation. Uh, so just that you know. 
that's the plan and I do hope that you will like them so let me finish this one and we will have a look at it when it's all done It's different to the things I've done before, so I am happy with the skull, with, with the flower crown. I really like the colors that I chose and I really think that the edge, you know, with those light purple check beads and also the repeated blue color, which is very similar to the flowers. I think it works quite nicely, but there is something I don't like. So I'm not used to this kind of edge and you can see this because here the beads are much closer to each other while I have slightly more distance on this side. And also what I, what I may also change is those tiny beads at the top. I think. I should have one less of those tiny beads on, on the left and on the right. I think that would work better. And, and yeah, and I need to get the spacing right. But for the very first try of this idea, I'm pretty happy with this one. So this is the back and you can see that it's quite irregular on this side. So I will need to fix this. But otherwise, I am happy with this one. Let me know what you think. I really need to get used to that edge because I think it looks pretty, but I'm just not used to the look. And yeah, I mean, using 15.0 seed beads for an embroidered earring, it is quite a lot of work. So I think most people use 11.0 or 13.0. 11.0, I find that that's too large. And I don't have 13.0 beads, so... And I mean, I love tiny seed beads, so... I don't mind the additional work, and I think it works fine, and I think it looks cute. So I will stick to those. I will start with the second earring now, and I will try to get better at this and I would love to add some to my shop because they are so fun. And let me know what you think of that pin idea because it, I mean, I think it would, it's a good size for a pin. So I would love to hear about your thoughts. Let me know. You can see the size maybe a little bit better. <laughs> I'm quite happy. Uh, but that's it for now. There's always so much to do that I don't think that I can get more days into a vlog. I have no clue how other people manage to get a whole week into one vlog because it, it's too much and it's going to be too long. 
I'm almost done with all the prices. So when I'm all when I'm done with all of them, I will check them one last time. And by Friday at latest, I will start adjusting the prices. So when you're watching this, I may be done already. I mean, it will take a while to do it for all 300 products in my shop, but I will be pretty much done. And you know, prices, I mean, they can change all the time. And I hope that you understand why I have to do this. It's not even like everything gets more expensive. It's just that I need to get a system in place. And because I really want to organize this Black Friday sale, I have to check everything that it's okay and that I have the right prices in place. That's it for now. I will start now with the second one of these guys. And then I will see you in the next video, which will probably be a vlog again, because I have that other beat order still coming and I want to show you what else I got. I really need to hurry with all those new product photos and listings. So for now I'm off. I really hope that you like this video. Uh, if you're interested in my glass beads or my handmade jewelry, please check out the links down below. You can also find all my social media there and if you like this kind of content or if you're interested in beading tutorials, please consider subscribing to my channel. It always helps if you leave a like or a comment. So thank you so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.